I started a new job at a donut shop that is open 24 hours a day. I work the evening shift and usually finish up around 4 in the morning. Today was my first shift completely alone since my coworker called in sick. Everything was going well, customers had slowed down and I was just sitting around waiting for the morning customers to begin coming in. I decided to take out the trash before the next shift member clocks in to work at 4 a.m. While taking out the trash, I saw an injured deer crossing the road coming towards me. The deer was badly disfigured, as if it was attacked by another wild animal. As the deer slowly walked over, I noticed it had two straight horns instead of the usual antlers a deer has. It was making a low groaning noise, as if it was in pain. I began to walk fast to get back inside the donut shop when the deer began walking towards my only entrance, almost in an attempt to block me. As I got closer to the door, I noticed the deer walking towards me, standing on two legs the way a human would walk. This instantly creeped me out and I dashed in a full sprint to the open door. As I sprinted, the deer ran towards me and grabbed the door in an attempt to get in. A hand squeezed through the crack, which scared me even more since deers don't have human hands. I had no idea if this was a prank or what I was encountering at this point. I pulled the door so hard I smashed the hand and it pulled back as I managed to get the door shut and locked. I began hearing a crying voice as if there was a young child crying on the other side of the door, which I began shouting, go away, leave me alone. At this moment the crying child turned into an evil dark laugh. I grabbed my phone and immediately dialed 911. I could hear the deer outside the door groaning. After about five minutes, I could hear the sirens in the distance, which gave me a huge release. Police ran inside the donut shop, guns drawn. They found me locked in the back room. I explained the tire situation to the officer. They searched the outside of the building with no signs of life anywhere. I don't know what it was that I encountered that night, but I have quit this job and will never work another night shift again.